and Michael here again. We're going to remove a door panel and on the late 60s, 70s, mid, up to mid 80s cars, it's pretty much the same process. However, on this particular 116, there are three additional little screws. Two here and one up front here that must be removed in order to pull the panel off. As you can see, this is in the way of sliding the panel upwards, so it must be removed as well as the front piece. And this takes a small Phillips, not your medium. You want to use a small Phillips to start with, because if you round out the head of the screw, then it makes it very difficult to get the screw out. On this front piece, there's a little tang right here. So to pull it off, you must lift it up. Then we have our chrome pieces around the lock latch assembly. door lock knob and the 116 <coughs> also has one screw right here and you want to grab that little chrome washer so you don't lose it. Then uh, this plastic is very easy to break and with age they become very brittle. So I use a heat gun and make it more pliable. And as you can see, that becomes nice and flexible. If you don't do that, you'll break this. And it occasionally happens, so I always keep a few of them on hand. Then you have, a, normally it's a Phillips screw in here. And one right here. Once that plastic's off, you can pull this chrome towards you and pop the handle out. And there's one more screw right there. This also has a little hook to it that hooks in. Let's see. Oh, we also have two hidden screws.
Now we have the window switch to pull off. And there we go. And as you can see, these things here, somebody's already broken them and re-glued them. And we have our moisture barrier. Now we can access what needs to be done. You can replace your door check, <clears throat> uh, replace this latch release handle if need be, um, pull the window regulator uh, to either replace or straighten, and I'll show how that's done. Okay, so we're ready now to remove the door panel. On 116 cars, 126 cars, most of the later 80s cars are different than earlier cars. On these cars, you lift up the panel. This handle can keep you from lifting it up all the way. So you need to pull that away from the handle, then the panel comes up. Disconnect the window switch, and you'll see why you pull it up. There's hooks. Somebody didn't know that, broke that one off. Somebody broke that one off, glued it. This one's kind of sloppy. There's another hook there. So that's why you lift it up. Also, the top edge here goes into these clips. So another reason why you have to lift the panel up to remove it. As I mentioned, you pull the panel up on the 116 and 80s cars. Uh, however, uh, the 123 body up till 85 has this type of fasteners, which you pull the panel off the door straight off. Now when you do that, you, you don't want to just pull a panel because lots of times the cardboard is deteriorated and the clip will pull out and damage the panel. So what you do, you run a knife between the door and the door panel and run your knife right up to that clip and then twist it. That way you're putting pressure on the clip, keeping it in the panel.